יש כוכבים שאורם מגיע ארצה, רק כאשר הם עצמם עבדו ואינם. יש אנשים שזיו זכרם מאיר, כאשר הם עצמם אינם עוד בתוכנו. אורות אלה המבהיקים בחשקר הליל. הם, הם שמרים לאדם את הדרך, את הדרך. הם, הם שמרים את הדרך, את הדרך. וגן רוכבס פון פלדר, או יברידר גטרייר, או בחמול ניט לידר גזומן. ואל ניט פרמיר די פלדר פלגן גרינן, וניט פרמיר פלג טוי ארוק גרינן. אין אנגה קלרס, אין פינסטר אבי נאכט, אין איך גזסן, גזסן פר שמאכט. אין קלר אוטומטיק זיך גטרוגן מיין נידי. וגן צורס ולידן ופלוגן. כל וירטי של טייכל זול ספליסן. זול ספליסן ונגיב אלף חיינט מיינה פראי לכה גרוסן. אין כל וירט איז איסטס מיין היין. ואי מיין פנסטר שטייט אבליאנדר בוין. דיפלדר פרמיר, פרמיר אויך איסטס גרינל. פון זה מיל חונט הוניך פור מיל אויך רינן. כפין גליקליך. דו זולסט מיינה ברידר דר זיילן. 
wegen Kolwirtsche Felder sing ich ist's mein Lieder. زمستان که بیاید زمستان بیاید شکل خودم می شوم کتاب های دورت آتش گرفتند یا سمن در خواب ها آهو می دود. سر به کوه می زند کوه را به سادگی بغل می کنم در سینه جا می شود دیدی ترسی نداشت قواره سنگ ها از افتادن بالا که می رویم دریا اهلی تر می آید قلادهش را گرفتم پس من را با کلمات نزن شکنجه نده تنت را به صخره نکش تا شکل پلک های خونی بمیرم زمستان کوچه صاف انتهای همین خیابان که بپیچی و سالها همین اسب سیاه رم کرده اند با انگشتت که بشماری زمستان که بیاید از هر دو سو رفته ایم. یکی مرا گم می کند. با آن یکی پیدا می شدم. اما باید نمی ترسیدی و می گفتی چرا به سینه چاقو فرو کرده ای تا آدم ها در آینه فراری شوند. The heather honey dried up in my voice, the lullaby ivy in my throat. I am leaving followed by your words, you are mine. As you know, I would always return. I watch migrating birds fly in formation. That old story, when you leave, your motherland leaves with you. When you return, it is lost to you. The house is empty without you. I extinguish the golden fish when I depart. I would leave them flickering on the ceiling and the ocean floor so you would return. Tebet ay sor matam khor kum dam chvumes udarabum yegir dogun bait zar arev bet gezake arabod Tebet kehen herte himech arvumes udabagvum yegir dogun anus tsoher bet gezogen arabod Tebet alyan hergen arel kez khopumen karekar Yegir dogun, ab 
Turs ku kan zalgats tashdin arabod. Tebet hivant angonit mech den chumes uzarantum yerir dogun. Bet ke pujves hover ku kan arabod. Husa sheram ku ka karun yev gzalgi kez hamar. Tu ches merni yev an bayman bet ke hayris arabod. Oror, Agvores, Chunis Halad, Yer Tamov Berin, Behalad, Oror, Yer Tam Lusun Gan Berim, Lusun Astre, Behalad, Oror, Agvores, Chunis Halad, Kuam Menderete, Behalad, Oror, Tunal Halad Ban Munis, Kun Chunis, Artun Gugenas. Oror.
پخنای این ملافه از چین تا مارچین و بر تمام آن برف باریده چرا نمی رسیم؟ از لنگ گوشواره های بر این سپیدی ردی نیست نه در خطی هست نه خرگوشی ستاره های کجاییم گوشواره را که انداختی در کشو ملافه را در سبد و تاریکی را تکندی از ایوان مرده ام کمی کنار دستهایت در انتهای شبی که آمده بوده بوی جنگم می آمد اما تمام راهها را پوشانده بود برفی که می بارید می بارد می پوشند هنوز Like a desert flower waiting for rain. Like a riverbank thirsting for the touch of pitchers. Like the dawn longing for light. And like a house, like a house in ruins for want of a woman. The exhausted ones of our times need a moment to breathe. Need a moment to sleep in the arms of peace. In the arms of peace. I seem to have loved you in numberless forms, numberless times. In life after life, in age after age, forever. My spellbound heart has made and remade the necklace of songs that you take as a gift, wear around your neck in your many forms, in life after life, in age after age, forever. Whenever I hear old chronicles of love, its age-old pain, its ancient tale of being apart or together, as I stare on and on into the past, in the end, you emerge, clad in the light of a pole star, piercing the darkness of time. You become an image of what is remembered forever. You and I have floated here on the stream that brings from the fount. At the heart of time, love of one for another. We have played alongside millions of lovers, shared in the same shy sweetness of meeting, the same distressful tears of farewell. Old love, but in shapes that renew and renew forever. Today, it is heaped at your feet. It has found its end in you. The love of all man's days, both past and forever. Universal joy, universal sorrow, universal life. The memories of all loves merging with this one love of ours. And the songs of every poet, past and forever.
。我住长江头，君住长江尾。日日思君不见君，共饮长江水。此水几时休？此恨何时已？只愿君心似我心，定不负相思意。玫瑰花，玫瑰花，烂开在碧蓝干下。我愿那渡我的无情风雨，莫吹打。我愿那爱我的多情游客，莫攀摘。我愿那红颜长好不凋谢，好叫我留住芳。在那金色的沙滩上，洒着银白的月光，寻找往事踪影，往事踪影已迷茫，就像梦幻一样。你在哪里躲藏，背弃我的姑娘？我骑在马上，像箭一样的飞翔，飞呀飞呀，我的马朝着它去的方向。
在那金色沙滩上，洒着银色的月光，寻找往事踪影，往事踪影迷茫，寻找往事踪影，往事。往事踪影迷茫，犹如幻梦一样。你在何处躲藏？背弃我的姑娘，你在何处躲？往事踪影已迷茫，犹如幻梦一样。你在何处躲藏？背弃我的姑娘，你在何处躲藏？背弃我。飞呀飞呀，我的马，朝着他去的方向。飞呀飞呀，我的马，朝着他去的方向적었은벽어쩔수없는벽이라고우리가느낄때그때담쟁이는말없이그벽을오른다물한방울없고씨앗한톨살아남을수없는적었은절망의벽이라고말할때담쟁이는서두르지않고앞으로나아간다한뼘이라도꼭여럿이함께손을잡고올라간다푸르게절망을다덮을때까지바로그절망을잡고놓지않는다저것은넘을수없는벽이라고고개를떨구고있을때담쟁이잎하나는담쟁이잎수천개를이끌고결국그벽을넘는다아앞강의살얼음은언제나풀리거나진실은배가
저만큼 새벽 안개 헤쳐왔네. 연분홍 꽃다발 하나름 안고서 물 건너 우련한 빛을 우련한 빛을 강 마을에 내리누나. 앞강의 살얼음은 언제나 풀리거나 짐 실은 배가 저만큼 새벽 안개 헤쳐왔네. 오늘도 강물 따라 땜목처럼 흐를 거나 새소리, 바람소리, 물 흐르듯 나부끼네. 내 마음 어두운 고래 나의 봄 풀어놓아 화사한 그리움, 말없이 그리움, 말없이 말없이 흐르는구나. 오늘도 강물 따라 땜목처럼 흐를 거나 새소리, 바람소리, 물 흐르듯 나부끼네. 
누구의 주재련가 맑고 고운 산 그리운 만 이천봉 말은 없어도 이제야 자유만민 옷깃 여미며 그 이름 다시 부를 우리 금강산 수수만 년 아름다운 산못 가본 지몇해 오늘에야 찾을 날 왔나 금강산은 부른다 비로봉 그 봉우리 예대로인가 흰 구름 솔바람도 무심히 가나 발 아래 산해말리 보이지 마라 우리 다 맺힌 슬픔 풀릴 때까지 수수만 년 아름다운 산못 가본 지몇해 오늘에야 찾을 날 왔나 금강산은 부른다 
真っ白な雪道に春風香る私は懐かしいあの街を思い出す叶えたい夢もあった変わりたい自分もいた今はただ懐かしいあの人を思い出す誰かの歌が聞こえる誰かを励ましてる誰かの笑顔が見える悲しみの向こう側に花は花は花は咲くいつか生まれる君に花は花は花は咲く私は何を残しただろう夜空の向こうの朝の気配に私は懐かしいあの日々を思い出す傷ついて傷つけて報われず泣いたりして今はただ愛おしいあの人を思い出す誰かの思いが見える誰かと結ばれている誰かの未来が見える悲しみの向こう側に花は花は花は咲くいつか生まれる君に花は花は花は咲く私は何を残しただろう花は花は花は咲くいつか生まれる君に花は花は花は咲く私は何を残しただろう花は花は花は咲くいつか生まれる君に花は花は花は咲くいつか恋する君のために
，阮若拍开心内的门，就会看见五彩的春光。虽然春天无久长，总会暂时消温满腹心酸。春光，春光，今何在？望你永远在阮心内，阮若拍开心内的门，就会看见五彩的春光。阮若拍开心内的窗，就会看见心内迄个人。虽然人去楼下空。总会暂时予阮心头轻松。所爱的人今何在？望你永远在阮心内。阮若拍开心内的窗，就会看见心内迄个人。阮若拍开心内的门，就会看见。故乡的残垣，虽然路途千里远，总会暂时予阮思念想袂到。故乡，故乡，今何在？望你永远在阮心内。阮若拍开心内的窗，就会看见青春的美梦。虽然前途无希望，总会暂时消温满腹怨叹。青春美梦今何在？望你永远伫阮心内。阮若拍开心内的窗，就会看见青春的美梦。In a garden on the banks of Lake Lanao, on the island of Mindanao, morning glories and hibiscus and fire trees lifted their faces with pride, vying for Allah's favor. Would not Allah rejoice in their brilliant colors and delicate petals proudly swaying in the wind? Indeed, He did. Each flower gave something unique to the garden, and Allah rejoiced in how each made the garden beautiful and complete. Even the startling Rafflesia flower felt the warmth of Allah's love. And yet, a humble visitor to this garden enjoyed Allah's greatest favor. A butterfly with black and green wings, flitting from flower to flower, unaware of his own beauty and grace. But butterfly knew that he was Allah's favorite. As he fluttered through the wind, butterfly could feel the smile, even the giggle of God, and everything he asked for, Allah gave him. One day, Butterfly flew into the palace of a sultan. He had never seen such wealth. Courtesans, dancers roamed the halls, entertaining their sultan. 
butterfly flew back to his Allah in a hurry and cried, Allah, most powerful and infinite in kindness. Allah, most powerful and infinite in kindness. Please make me a sultan. Allah chuckled as he thought it over. Finally, he waved his hand to summon his jinn, who appeared in a cloud of smoke. Allah, most powerful and infinite in kindness, your wish is my command. My darling butterfly would like to be a sultan. Grant him this wish, instructed Allah. The genie waved his hands and butterfly was transformed into a tall, handsome sultan with fine silk robes. Around him, a large palace with expensive furniture, beautiful paintings, exotic animals, and a court of adoring subjects appeared. He had all the entertainment he could dream of. Musicians, dancers, jesters, poets. Each night he feasted on the finest food and drank the best wine. Everyone did as he commanded. What an extraordinary new life for Butterfly! But as time went on, the thrill of it all began to fade. The food tasted normal. The entertainment felt repetitive. Butterfly grew bored of life as a sultan. Early one morning, a great prophet came to visit the palace. The wise prophet entered the throne room to tell the sultan and his subjects visions of the future. Butterfly and his subjects had many questions for the wise man. But Butterfly couldn't help but notice how intently everyone listened to the wise prophet's words. People respect a prophet more than a sultan, thought Butterfly. I should become a prophet. That night, Butterfly sank to his knees and bowed his forehead toward Mecca, praying. Ah, and infinite in kindness. Allah, most powerful and infinite in kindness, please make me a wise prophet. Allah entered the sultan's chamber with his genie by his side. You have heard my favorite butterfly's wish. Make him a great prophet in the land. The jinn raised his arms and circled his hands around the room. The palace disappeared, as did the fine clothes and all the servants. Butterfly was transformed into an old, wise prophet with few possessions but a Quran and a tall staff. He thanked Allah with glee and hastily began his journey to spread good news across the land. Butterfly was a brilliant prophet. People gathered in large crowds to hear his message. But Butterfly did not know that being a prophet can be dangerous. Not everyone was happy to hear the old man's counsel. Who are you to tell us what is right and what is wrong, old prophet? Many became his enemies. Butterfly began to receive death threats. 
He was petrified and could not sleep at night. Why did I leave my life as a rich and powerful sultan, he thought. Late the next morning, while Butterfly was walking down a deserted street, five large men with covered faces jumped from behind a row of Anaha trees. They beat up the old prophet, stole his belongings, and left him for dead on the side of the road. With his face in the dirt, Butterfly cried to Allah in anguish. so much that you made him a sultan and then a great wise prophet give me victory over these foes by turning me into a god Allah came to his wounded prophet who lay in the middle of the street. No, my beloved creature, I will not make you a god. I will make you a butterfly once more. Your life will be short, but full of meaning. Your life's journey will take you through dramatic changes in which you will suffer, and you will have to trust. But your wings will grow, and the light will return, my favorite butterfly. With the wave of the jinn's arms, butterfly was transformed from a prophet into the first caterpillar. To this day, a caterpillar lives the first part of its life with many legs and no wings, but will weave a cocoon around its body and sleep patiently in darkness for days until it is reborn into a beautiful and delicate butterfly. Butterfly live their short lives flying from flower to flower helping these plants grow strong and reproduce. Deep valleys houses a river flowing, the rim of the sky above white clouds, blanketing the range of mountains that stretches out to hug the earth. The heart dreams of peace, conquers misfortune, fans a fire that never goes out, stands firm and knows how to listen. Like rain, 
love and hope temper heat. Lined with valleys, houses, a river flowing. At night, the heart dreams the same dream, solicitous of earth and sky, my birthplace where I sleep forever, my birthplace where I sleep forever. Bengawan Solo, Riwe Yatmu Ingi, Sadari Dulu Jadi, Perhatian Insani, Muzin, Kemau Rao Tak Seberapa Armu, Meluap Sampai Jau. Mata, Airmu Dari Solo, Turkurung Gunung Seribu, Air Mengalir Sampai Jau, Dan Akhirnya Kelaut. Itu, Perahu, Riwe Yatnia Dulu, Kaum Padangan Salalu. Naik itu perahu. Bengawan Solo, the river of romance sparkling in the golden sun that leads you into a trance. The wind across the blue, the music of the stream, seems to play a lovely tune, a love song of hope and dream. If you're feeling lonely and sad, come tell your troubles, dry your tears, and should you ever wonder why, my dear, you'll find your answers here. Bengawan Solo, you are my dream and hope, Always linger in my heart, forever, I love you so.
terbangnya burung hanya bisa dijelaskan dengan bahasa batu. Bahkan cericitnya yang rajin memanggil fajar, yang suka menyapa hujan, yang melukis sayap kupu-kupu, yang menaruh embun di daun, yang menggoda kelopak bunga, yang paham gelagat cuaca. Hanya bisa disadur ke dalam bahasa batu yang tak berkosa kata dan tak bernamu. Lebih luas dari fajar, lebih dalam dari langit, lebih pasti dari makna, sudah usai sebelum dimulai. Dan sepenuhnya abadi Tanpa diucapkan Sama sekali